Hello friends, update from earlier two videos. I've found a nice hotel room with free coffee this time. That's the first. And uh, the first hotel to offer free coffee is called the Merlot Hotel. Um, it's just outside a place called Port Dickinson. And uh, I've got a nice view from my window. Yeah, very good. Um, <clears throat> just after making uh, those two videos, yeah, I was sat in the garage. I got on my bike just after making those two videos and I cycled out to the main road and lo and behold right on the corner was a bicycle shop so I asked you know do you do you sell cycling shorts because of my bum problems the pain with cycling I've been looking for somewhere where I can buy like another pair of cycling shorts so I can double up on my shorts sure enough he takes me through this like 30 worldy looking um, repair shop for bikes into a stunning shop, bike shop with lots of brand new expensive bikes for sale, all the tools you need for repairing bikes, cassettes, cranks, every spare, forks, every spare you can think of, oil, everything. So I went in there, I bought myself a new pair of cycling shorts and it's made cycling a lot easier today. So, I'm very happy. They weren't cheap either, by the way. <clears throat> the ones I bought in England were sponge cycling shorts. I bought a pair of gel cycling sports shorts. They're, they're, you know, they'd probably be a few more bob in England, but uh, they cost me enough here. And I'm, I'm very pleased to say it cut down on the pain. There's a few seams that uh, still hurt but I think that's because I had the old sponge ones on first with the new gel ones over the top tomorrow I'm going to try them with the gel ones on first and the sponge ones over the top that could get rid of the seam problem but yeah I've I've been able to I've stayed in the saddle a lot saddle a lot longer today than uh, I have on subsequent days that's it basically um, do you want to see the room there you go Curtains are drawn, I've got AC, I've got a TV, I've got a nice, nice bed, big bed all to myself. Got uh, my, my drinks there and uh, my charger right here. Like I say, in Malaysia the rooms are a little bit smaller than uh, Thailand. They're purpose built to get more people in I suppose, but then they're cheaper. Uh, here's the bathroom, nice bathroom. Haven't got a noodle shower, but I've got a good shower. Hand wash basin, toilet, so everything you could possibly want. And uh, that's it. So I'm going to get a good night's sleep tonight. And uh, I'm off to Malacca tomorrow. Tomorrow, being quickly before I get it wrong, I haven't had a drink for oh, since I entered Malaysia, so my mind's getting a bit clearer now. But uh, yeah. Today was day 20 and it was Sunday the 8th of March. Uh, tomorrow is day 21, Monday the 9th of March. Yeah, um, it was quite a shock to, uh, to see that I'd made you know, such mistakes with my days and uh, my dates, but you know, I'm on holiday. It's my prerogative, it's something I can allow myself to do, you know. I'm not getting paid. I, I'm I'm the payer, not the payee. So you're fine with that. You're fine with that mate. I'm happy for you to do what you like as far as days and dates go. But yeah, it is nice to um to, to know the date and the day sometimes. I'm sure I'll uh, once I've finished my trip to Singapore and Got my train journey back to Thailand. I'll uh, get back on the bevies and uh, enjoy my holiday because I have a flight return flight booked. So uh, you know, it's very simple to remember the date in England because I have to go to work on Monday and I don't finish till Friday. And uh, I keep lots of records during that time because of my job. So there's plenty of time for uh, keeping track of days and dates. Anyway. Let's not get morbid and miserable. Lovely to talk to you as ever. Goodbye for now.